Greetings from Union University. It's Wednesday, April 29th, and things are beginning to restart again. Restaurants began opening up on Monday and retail today, and the governor's order ends tomorrow at midnight. And so things are beginning to restart, and hopefully soon things will feel much more normal across all sectors of our lives. And for that reason, this is probably the last um, video update I'll share for a while. I do want to say, I want to take this time to, to say thanks again to our community, to our faculty, to our staff, to our students for just exhibiting the grace-filled community that we describe to others, for being willing to make this shift so easily and so quickly. Um, it was easy only because of the hard work and the graciousness that, that everyone has displayed. And now there are just a couple of weeks left in the semester and soon grades will be in and diplomas will be signed. And soon we'll have a celebration of that graduation when it's uh, safe to do so. I also want you to know that we intend, fully intend, to be back in person for the fall 2020 semester to welcome our new students at move in on August 14th. Of course, we'll, we'll continue to communicate, uh, but I do want you to know that is our intention. And as things, as things get back to, to more normal and to what we're more used to, I just want to encourage all of us that that during this time, uh, this time of social distancing, this time of quarantine, it's given us an opportunity to think about some things. It's maybe even given us an opportunity to change some habits and patterns. And I just wanna encourage each of us to, to keep the habits and patterns that we have really enjoyed, more time with family, maybe walks together, playing games together, more time in the word or in prayer, Let's not forget the, the good things that have resulted from this. And because we're thinking about, about restarting and how things will be, let's turn again to, to God's Word. And today I want to share with you from Matthew chapter 6, verses 25 through 27, where Jesus is speaking to his disciples in the Sermon on the Mount. And he reminds us, Therefore I tell you not to be anxious about your life, what you will eat, what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. It is, is not life more than food and the body more than clothing. Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not more valuable than they? And which of you, by being anxious, can add a single hour to his span of life? And then Jesus concludes this section by an admonition to you and to me where he says, Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you as well. So as we, as we move into this next phase, let us not be anxious, but let us move forward in faith, confident in the one who tells us, that God loves us more than the birds of the air and the flowers of the field. God bless you.